written by Agris and Kruger. And uh, from this conversation, uh, we can get uh, Homer Simpson had two space to longer than people uh, who were born in the first city next year. And uh, to be honest, he uh, doesn't want to stay school. <coughs> and why I choose this paper? The first reason is uh, I read uh, so many famous papers and uh, I learned a lot from him. And this is his famous book. And this is uh, his new book. And the second reason is uh, this paper introduced a fantastic I-way instrument variable. Uh, and uh, people, it's preventing people to write and find uh, the instrument variable. And the third reason is uh, uh, this paper is related to my research. For example, uh, now I'm doing the return of school in Italy, Taiwan, and China. And it, that's the introduction. Uh, this is entry rules. Uh, in my team, uh, primary school starts in September every year, and the students who uh, attend six years old by the next January can uh, go to school in the September. And the uh, second is a compulsory school law. Students cannot leave school until they are 16 years old. So let's use this picture to understand them. For example, if one student was born in August this year, and uh, so uh, after six years later, uh, here, uh, he was six years old, and uh, this September, he can go to school. But, and this student was born in December this year, and uh, uh, after six years old, here, he was not six years old. But here, uh, in this de December, he was six years old, and before the next year, January, uh, he can go to school in this September. And uh, unfortunately, this student was born in the February in 1995, and uh, he was, when he was six years old, he's, he's here. Uh, so he cannot uh, attend uh, school this year, because it's after the uh, January 1st. Uh, he has to wait a few, couple of months to here, he join school. And uh, all of them can leave school when they were 16 years old here. And this blue line means the year of education. We can say this one, this one, the line is longer than uh, this one who was born in the first season. So <coughs> they also found this interesting phenomenon, and they also found that people who was born in the first season earned less. And uh, this paper used to two parts. One part is the season of birth, compulsory school, and years of education. And the second part is estimating the return to education. <coughs> First, we we'll say data. We use the 1960 census data because it's the earliest census that contains quarter of birth. And we see these two pictures. This is year of birth. This is the year of education. And one, two, three, four means uh, first quarter, second quarter, and so on. We can see the year of education increased. Uh, during the whole period, and uh, people who was born in the first season earn less than people who was born in the fourth season. Also, this picture, uh, people who was born in the first quarter were the latest. Uh, but why the year of education decreased during their period? Because at that time there was a very long war, and uh, so many students, uh, when they were 15 years old, they left school and joined the army. This is model. Um, and we, and A means mean average, and E means the average year of education. Why we use the mean average here? Because this term, this is the time series, time series term, and it may contain the other period uh, errors. We must uh, subtract it, so we use E minus and A. And uh, this is enough. But the most important part here is the lambda. <laughs> lambda is a first effect relative to the fourth quarter. If you do regression to this equation, you can get this one. This picture. Uh, this is, uh, not lambda, this is beta. I'm sorry, I'm mistaken. This is beta. And uh, this is beta. We just conserve this part and this part. Uh, we can say people who was born in the first season, uh, the effect is 1.9% uh, less than people who was born in the fourth season. And uh, for the graduate, uh, college graduate, this effect are not so strong. And we all know uh, this. Uh, for graduate student was not constrained by the compulsory school laws. So they are asked questions. <coughs> uh, they want to find whether the compulsory school laws really have effect. Uh, yes, the answer is yes. Uh, in some states, uh, in America, the school living age is 17 or 19. And compared with the living, uh, school living age is 16 years old, uh, that become a natural experiment. So and uh, they uh, find the result, the later one has a high drop rate than the former one. And this is also the conclusion of the first part. The second question is, why do the compulsory school laws work? For well, one reason is a young worker must abandon their work permit. 
and this is guaranteed by the school. And secondly, is the parents who fail to send their students to school, they may be punished by the government. So this is the first part of this uh, paper. And uh, this is the second part. First of all, is data. And uh, data we use here is a oh, like this picture. We can say people who was born in the first season were the latest uh, in this picture. And uh, people who are old, they earn much than people who are young. So we all know which age is related to the which is related to the age. So we want to cancel this effect. Just the way we choose these people who are 40 to 49 years old people. This is our data. And this is Minzer equation. Uh, Minzer equation, we can use this equation to estimate the return to education. And this is log of which. Uh, this is education, and this is experience, experience squares, and ability. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, find, uh, we cannot test the people's ability. Uh, also, we can use the echo test, but uh, it's, uh, it's personal uh, secret. And for example, if I have a low echo test, I don't want to tell anybody. So we, if we put the probability into the uh, residue, it becomes a short model. And we do know the education level are correlated with the ability. So this time, what can we do? Uh, this is general equation. For example, if x is uh, uncorrelated with u, uh, now I think we can use the uh, instrumental variable. As I mentioned, this is i v, and uh, this is z. Uh, if z is uncorrelated with u here, uh, in theory, z can be an instrumental variable, and we can learn more information from this book by Woodring. And uh, this is maybe model. Uh, it's easier than the paper's model, but they are similar. And y means uh, year and q means a quarter. And uh, if we do the regression to this first equation, we can get this picture. Uh, we can get the whole less estimator here. And uh, before the author used uh, uh, two stages squares, he, used, uh, he just used a weird estimator. Actually, this is, this is a IV, uh, simple IV. And uh, in this case, word estimator is uh, uh, equal to difference uh, difference uh, of the log of which over the difference education. And the, the result is here, just here. And it is bigger than the OLS estimator. And then the author used uh, two stiff squares. And uh, to the regression, the result, uh, there are three conclusions. Uh, first, comparative school loss increased education attainment. And the second is uh, two stiff squares um, <coughs> is slightly larger than OLS estimators. We can find it later. And the third is uh, they demonstrate the lower returns to schooling for black people when compared to whites. I'm going to like to do research uh, about black people. So you can find it in another book, in another papers. And uh, this is, I mentioned in the two conclusions, second conclusion. Uh, we just uh, noticed this line, this, this blue line. If we put a one factor years education, we can get the OS estimator is slightly less than the two stage list squares. But if you put more factors, they are similar. If you put all the factors, they are nearly the same. So, Andrews and Kruger, they thought, uh, from here, the omitted variables, fears of the OLS, OLS estimators, uh, their importance is not, not so important as we thought. So that's another conclusion. But uh, the other people don't think so. Uh, let's see the comments. The most famous paper uh, by these three professors uh, published in the JASA in 1995, they think their uh, analysis IV is so weak uh, because, uh, because they just use the same data and they really estimate the model uh, with the data. And the result, well, the standard error was 50% uh, larger. Although the other two professors uh, <coughs> think this IV sometimes is so strong. So in response to about studies, analysts uh, introduced another method we call the SS IV. And uh, he also used the same data and a new method to get the same result. But uh, also, the three professors, uh, the you know, uh, founder, Jagger, and Baker, they don't trust uh, this method. And you can learn more information in this paper. The author is uh, Chinese. And uh, all of this, uh, and this paper has some, have some problems. Uh, and uh, it's brought our horizon to find some uh, ideas. And uh, for example, we have a new idea to find I was like twins, education to education level parents. And recently I was shocked by a new uh, I was is a in vitro fertilization. 
And this is new, uh, this is the IZA working paper. You can find it, uh, fertilization effects on female labor supply and education. So after reading this paper, what can we learn from this paper? Uh, is it useful to our study or research? Let's see the future work. We can use it uh, uh, the return to schooling in education. We can use the season as I way. Uh, this is what I did last year, uh, for example, uh, because at the time I'm not familiar with the uh, I just use OLS and uh, the region and the gender. I found the people who come from the north part, they have a higher education and earn much than people who come from the uh, southern, southern part of Italy. And uh, yes, we can use, this time we can use the uh, IOE such as seasons. And the second is uh, about uh, seasons of that, the football player income and performance. Uh, about uh, six years ago, I read the article. Uh, it said that uh, female football player may have more chance to be born in the winter or at the end of the football season. So I made uh, two assumptions recently. One is uh, winter born babies have a high oxygen capacity. And the second is a uh, baby who was born at the end of football season may uh, have the gift in playing football. That sounds hilarious. But uh, if you look at the list of winners of the FIFA World Football Players of the Year, you may find 50 of them were born in the winter or end of the, at the end of the football season. Uh, for example, uh, Lord Bajo who was born in the February, and uh, he is my football favorite, favorite football player. And uh, in Argentina, uh, the June is a winter, and, uh, and uh, also is the end of football season, and Leo Messi was born uh, in the June. And also the same situation happened in Brazil. And uh, I, I, I know I need more data to do this, and uh, it seems naive, but maybe we can, we can go further in this research. And the people who have idea about this work and this work, well, I do like uh, we can discuss, I'm glad to discuss with you after class, this is my email address. And another thing is uh, this paper's other uh, January is the work of the workshop in Italy next year. And uh, if you are interested in this area, can find more information in his personal website. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you.